हेलो स्टूडेंट्स मैं सर डॉक्टर ब्रिजेश शंकर राव देशमुख वेलकम यू ऑल इन आर टुडे सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड्स पोएम 2.2 पॉइंट टू द सोवर द पोएम विच इज ओरिजिनली रिटर्न बाय विक्टर ह्यूगो एंड ट्रांसलेटेड बाय तोरुलता दत्त बिफोर हैविंग अ डिटेल डिस्कशन अबाउट द राइटर और अबाउट द पोएम वी विल हैव अ क्विक लाइट ऑन द आइस ब्रेकर्स गिवन इन टू द वेरी पोएम सो लेट्स डिस्कस द आइस ब्रेकर्स ऑफ द पोएम at the very first we have to talk about the activities related to the agriculture so which can be the activities for example cultivation culture horticulture irrigation then animal re- animal husbandry and so on number of the activities are there related to the agriculture the next question is discuss the activities carried out by a farmer in reality farmers their activities used to go on 24 by 7 or 365 days but as a question has been asked over here so we are going to discuss few qualities or few activities carried by the farmer for example plowing sowing irrigating or harvesting now the next question in our country engineers teaching and medical fields are so sought after other professions occupations though they make a significant contribution to the society many other there that they do not get their dues in a simple way in our country many professions many people are there that they works more than the limits or they gives their best but according to their efforts they never used to get paid and such a examples we have to discuss one example is here as example of farmer that they are the highly unpredictable economic gains as i have said just a second back farmers they need to work 24 by 7 they can't give excuse that is it raining or it's so sunny it is so like you know cold whatever the weather is farmer need to go and perform the activities into the farm every single day likewise few examples i have made it here uh, easy or i have made it clear in front of you you can go through these examples except these examples i would like to mention over here the most like unfinishable or unending job is of our mothers before our day starts she used to wake from the bed and she starts cooking cleaning like providing all the demands of the family and if a lady is working then definitely without any excuse she performs all her duties in her personal life in her social life and she like uh, all the time successfully she tries a level best to hold the family together like a glue so the job of mother it is the most remarkable job where she gets really uh, like question is there really does she get the appropriate respect from us that is the question whatever she is getting uh, it's not about money the most important thing is that we should respect our mother all the time our mother our sister our daughter our wife like they should be respected because they are the one who is always supporting the family they are the one who is always standing for the family okay now let's take it out the next question agriculture is the backbone of the indian economy fill in the boxes supporting this statement or complete the following web diagram so agriculture is the backbone of india one example has been done by the bookmakers that is, that is a large part of indian population is involved in agriculture absolutely our country is well known for its agriculture and the next is contribution about 17% to the gdp of india gdp gross domestic product from agriculture nearly 17% contribution has been attended okay so rest of the things you can check this out few examples i have provided here ready made to you now we are going to we are going to have a quick discussion about the writer 
and about our poetess who has translated this poem from French to English language. Now, on first hand, we will have a discussion about Victor Hugo, the writer from 19th century who is well known for the French romantic season. He has written number of the poems in French language and his Notre de Paris and Les Miserables are the most remarkable novels and about his poems the countries he's, he has made his image as the country's greatest poet. So Victor Hugo is undying name in the field of literature. So our writer, our poetess Torulata Dat, she is quite remarkable. She is a bilingual poetess who is a Bengali and she has achieved the mastery on French language and she has translated number of the or dozens of the poem into English from French to English and she has written two novels before the death of before her death she died at the age of 21 in an early age she passed away from this materialistic world but she made her name immortal in by contributing into the literary field so her poems such as Sita, Lotus or Caserina Tree are well loved. Now let's have a light or let's have a discussion about our poem, a little bit summary or <clears throat> the coverings of the poem, The Sower. The Sower is a translation of Victor Hugo's poem, Seasons de Semelier Le Sower. It is translated by Torulata Dat from French to English. The Sower is a poem about a farmer who is sowing seeds. He has seen many bad harvests in his life. However, he is so optimistic of having a good harvest every time he tosses grain. Absolutely, the life of farmers is not easy. Their life is full of troublesome every time. A farmer need to depend on nature or on a weather. If a weather is in favorable condition to the farmer or of the farming, then definitely the farmer can have good qualities crops. If the weather plays taunt with the farmer, then definitely the farmer will come across to the oddities as the fact of India number of the farmers that they, they, they are totally under the depths but if, if a farmer starts taking prior precaution as insurance of the crops or if they starts following at least a bit norms of the farming uh, like taking a major uh, taking the basic precautions of insurance or uh, according to the season if they starts doing the farming or uh, if they goes for the greenhouses and also definitely it will help somewhere to develop their economical condition and to have a good quality crop okay so Let's check out the poem on a first hand. The Sower. I am reading or I am doing the first reading. The Sower. Sitting in a porch way cool. Sunlight. I see dying fast. Twilight hastens on to rule. Working hours have well nigh passed. Shadows run across the lands. But a Sower lingers still. Old in rags. He patient stands. Looking on, I feel a thrill. Black and high, his solid, his salute dominates the furrows deep. Now to sow, the task is set. Soon shall come a time to reap. Marches he long the pain. Marches he long the pain to and fro, and scatters wide from his hands the precious grain. Muse I, as I see him stride. Darkness deepens, fades the light. Now his gestures to mine eyes are august. Now his gestures to mine eyes are august and strange. His height seems to touch the starry skies.
Now, before having a detailed discussion about the poem, let me give you a little hint or little basics of the poem. Our writer, Torulata Dat, she was sitting in her porch way one evening, and from her porch way, what she had observed. about farmer the way farmer was performing his activities all those things has been neatly painted down into the very poem by victor hugo and translated by torulata dat so let's check out the poem in detail sitting in a porch with cool sunlight i see i see dying fast one evening the time writer she sat in her porch way porch way the veranda or a covered shelter in front of a building so there a writer was sitting and basically i'll go with the original writer victor hugo he did observe the activities of writer oh, sorry he did observe the activities of farmer and it was the evening time sunlight i see dying fast that the night was close twilight hastens on to rule twilight it is the time of uh, when the day is about to end and night is about to begin so middle time is known as a twilight hastens on to rule so soon there will be a night working hours have well nigh passed working hours have well nigh passed well nigh means almost the timing of working hours has been finished but that farmer was working hard into the farm shadows run across the lands what is the meaning of this shadows run across the lands it is something like personified shadows cannot run but the way we humans are running moving to and fro the way farmer was performing his activities into the farm has been compared over here with the shadows are running fast in a rush that farmer was performing his activity before before the complete darkness arose that farmer was willing to finish his duties so he was running or he was doing his work into the hast so shadows run across the lands but a sower linger still sower the one who wants to sow something the farmer lingers his he was not like uh, he was not into the condition to give up the work of that day and to go into the home he just wanted to finish his work in time he wanted to do his activities into that very day only so afterwards he can have a good kind of crops so but a sower linger still old in rags he patient stands that farmer he was like he was so desperate to finish his activities his planned work of the day he wanted to sow the seeds into the ground so in a time he can have a good quality crop so basically the stanza or so far what we have discussed or read yet it explains that the farmer is uh, so like desperate to finish his activities in time and obviously why he would not be desperate if a farmer does his activities into the time then definitely in the course of time the farmer can have a good quality crop if he fails to do the activities into the time then definitely uh, it is like the farmer can have the hard time ahead uh more so we can say that or we all are aware that nowadays there is no assurity of seasons that okay we can't say that okay now for two months we will have a pure winter or pure rainy season or a pure uh, summer season all the three seasons are like mixed up the way there is a big amalgamation of the cities in a way all the seasons has been mixed and due to that the farmers every time they are coming across to the oddities okay so that's what uh, so far discussion explains to us let's go ahead looking on i feel a thrill looking on i feel a thrill black and high his salute dominates the furrows deep looking on i feel a thrill the way farmer was working into the farm that gave me a strike that okay 
he is like working so passionately and it is beyond to one's limit so it gave a thought or thrill to a writer black and high this is the explanation of the farmer that farmer he is black in color he is quite tall and his salute salute means sheep that the outline of someone against a brighter brighter background he was quite healthy tall and all that dominates the furrows deep that whatever he was working over there like a uh, furrowing or he was anchoring or plugging the land that was been done so well now to show the task is set now to show the task is set the farmer he might have he might have cultivated the land and with the help of anchor he must have done the anchoring so now he is go- he is ready to set his sowing task afterwards shall soon shall come a time to reap soon shall come a time to reap marches he long the pain marches along the plain to and fro and scatters wide from his hands the precious grain check this out soon shall come a time to reap marches along the pain to and fro and scatters wide from his hands the precious grain now the farmer has prepared the farm he has prepared the land so he can go on sowing the seeds into the very farm to and fro this is a frizzle verb it means that the farmer sometime he was moving ahead or moving back as he was working into the farm okay then muse i muse i muse means rest in thought he was in deep thought who was in deep thought a writer muse i as i see him stride stride to walk with long steps a writer he a writer did also the activities of the farmer that farmer was in a rush he was like taking the long strides taking the big steps before the darkness deepens fades the light now his gestures to mine eyes are august and strange his height seems to touch the starry skies august the meaning of august means noble dignified impressive now almost it is the darkness everywhere further further that farmer was working hard into the farm now writer was unable to see the farmer writer was unable to see the farmer there further on the farmer without any bothering without any worries he was going on working on into his farm so basically the poem the sower it is written in a well versed it is simple in a language it is easy to understand simply speaking here victor hugo the writer who has written this poem into french and arthur latadat who has translated this poem into english has neatly described the activities of the farmer expectations of the farmer or the life of the farmer doesn't matter whether the farmer is from india or from any other country all the farmers they are generally having the same situation they go through the same uh, mental stress or economical too okay so let's have a quick <clears throat> uh, question discussion about this poem the sower about this poem we have to remember one thing into our mind we will have a complete four marks question to do the appreciation of the poem here i have made the appreciation questions answer ready for you so by pausing this video for a while you can go through this answer which has been made by me for you must go through the detailed appreciation of the poem for a basic i'll have a little surface discussion about this poem or poetry's appreciation about the poem poet or title we have to comment on the very first hand as the poem originally written by victor hugo and translated by torlita dat then what is the theme of the poem the poem describes the poem describes the plight of farmer 
and the activities related to the farming then the poetic devices language or the style which has been used into the very poem that again we have to pay attention the poem it has well versed and the poem follows the rhyming scheme the rhyming scheme goes into the pattern of a b a b okay then afterwards again it's get repeated it does not go further except that you can go and check out some figure of speeches also from the very poem the poem carries personification as well as it has alliteration repetition and antithesis an example of an antithesis you need to explain over here for example to and fro okay to and fro so these are the opposite words front and back so in antithesis to opposite ideas are woven together so in an poetic device particularly into this very point you need to specify the style of the poem the language used in the poem which is very lucid easy to understand and minimum two figure of speeches you have to explain uh, in a line with the definition okay the next one, next point is here special features or the novelties or focusing elements of the poem here writer has shown the hard work of the farmer expectations then the taunt of the uh, nature everything has been deeply or in a very notably writer has explained must go through the details which i have provided here then after that value message that we should respect whatever we are whatever businesses whatever jobs we are doing so directly or indirectly farmers are the one who is making india stronger they are the backbone whether in present situation as we are going through the pandemic of covid 19 further uh, like farmers they never are going to sit into the home they has to or they will go to the farm they will perform their uh, hard works or activities into the field and afterwards with the crops they will like uh, mesmerize to the whole world uh, where the world may be or may not be sitting into the houses so kind of like an values we need to explain here and the opinion you are free to explain your own understanding your own opinion you can state at the point of this poem so these are the details i have provided over here about the figure of speeches details again i have given over here you must go through as i have said the personification alliteration examples are there antithesis everything has been cleared for example check this out the example of personification that the sunlight i see dying fast sunlight cannot die we humans can die so this is the personifying alliteration uh, example is uh, second line of the open at the opening of poem sunlight i see as sound has been alliterated so what is alliteration the sound or the alphabets they get repeated okay inversion uh, i am going for the second stanza example of inversion the uh, here inversion means the order of the words are changed for poetic effect simply writer or the poet or the poetess they are changing the position of the words to perform or uh, we, uh, where we can sing that song or we can read it in a, a phonetic or in an song way so basically but a sower linger still if we have to remove the inversion of the very line so it means that the farmer is lingering into the field okay afterwards like few more examples also i have given over here so just check this out and come up with a detailed understanding of the poem okay so for today i dr prajesh shankar av deshmukh is taking your leave if you have any question or a doubt feel free to comment or feel free to ask me i wish you the best take care be happy and god bless you thank you